Credit scores determine a lot in our lives, whether we can apply for loans, whether we can buy a car, whether we can buy a house, or even be eligible for rent. So let's take a look at exactly what a credit score is and how it came to be. Welcome back to NoFuss Finance. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't already for weekly BS free videos. All right, let's get into it. Let's start with exactly what a credit score is. A credit score is a three digit number that is included in a credit report. The score indicates to future lenders how credit worthy you are. In simple terms, that just means the chances of your paying back any borrowed money. Today, your credit score is calculated and reported using a lot of digital technologies and advanced financial calculations. But this wasn't always the case. Back in the day, there really were no actual credit scores for the average Joe. There was, however, commercial credit reporting. Commercial credit reporting was originally used by merchants to evaluate the credit worthiness of potential business customers. In 1841, at least in the US, one of the first agencies to report these commercial scores were established, and it was called the Mercantile Agency. They would have these agents or correspondents whose jobs were to collect information about the lenders and borrowers across the country. In a way, it's quite similar to how credit scores are calculated today. These correspondents would go out and gather information manually. They'd collect information like a business person's marital status, ethnic background, credit history, and age. And they were all entered into this ledger that was centralized in one location in New York. Now the issue with this was that a lot of the information and evaluations were very subjective. It would depend highly on the correspondents and their worldviews. Now these agents or correspondents would provide evaluations on people based on their racial background, gender, and moral character. Now you can imagine just how biased and even racist some of these evaluations could get. Fast forward to the 19th century, and now businesses and mass retailers are starting to see the need for a more individual type of credit rating. This is when the consumer-focused credit ratings really took off. The retailers in question would usually sell items in installments. These would include things like furnitures or other large items. Because these items were relatively more expensive, they'd offer installments, but they would need to verify whether their customers could actually pay them back, and hence the importance of consumer-focused credit scores. And that's exactly how things continued over the next few decades. Consumer credit scores were calculated in a very labor-intensive way with very biased agents or correspondents. But then in the 1960s, things started to become computerized and therefore consolidated. Around 1960, there were over 2,000 credit bureaus all over the country, and their information was all over the place and stored in things like physical papers and cards. It was totally disorganized. So, when computers started gaining popularity, these reports were much better managed. Around the 1980s, the credit bureaus started to consolidate, and a big part of this change was the Fair Isaac Corporation, a data analytics company that was more commonly known as FICO. Now, they saw the need for a simple yet effective way to help the credit bureaus interpret consumers' credit reports. In 1989, FICO worked with national credit bureaus to create a credit scoring model that could be used to evaluate all consumers. This is actually the first time a generalizable credit score was born. And let's fast forward to today. And today in the US, the majority of the businesses and lenders use FICO scores. Now, the way credit scores were calculated back in 1989 has obviously changed and shifted over the years to account for varying consumer behaviors today. So, what actually goes into your credit scores today? According to FICO, there are five factors. The first is payment history, which accounts for 35%, which indicates whether or not you've paid your past credit accounts on time. Next is your amounts owed, which adds up to about 30%. This is the total amount of credit and loans you're currently using compared to your total credit limit. This is also known as your utilization rate. Next is the length of your credit history, which accounts for about 15%. This is the length of time you've had credit. And then the next thing is your new credit, which is 10%, which means how often you apply for and open new accounts. And lastly, we have credit mix, which is the last factor and accounts for about 10%. This indicates the variety of credit products you have, which includes credit cards, installment loans, finance company accounts, and mortgage loans. Now, is the credit score a perfect system? I certainly don't think so. It has a lot of gaps and it can be used in discriminatory ways, for example, with people in lower income households or even for new immigrants. In fact, in the US, 26 million Americans are considered to be credit invisible. 
And it's no surprise that the majority of these people are black, Hispanic, and from low-income households. Now, if you take a moment to look outside of North America, you'll find that numerous countries do not have a credit scoring system, but they still manage to fund their consumer lending programs effectively. There are a number of effective ways that lenders can do their due diligence, instead of relying on a standardized credit rating system that seems to only impact the marginalized communities more. But that's not something that we can change at this moment. So what can you do with this information? My recommendation is this. Understand the history and the evolution of credit scores and try your best to keep a good score. By understanding its history and how it is calculated, you can take more ownership of it and use it in a way that actually favors you. I hope you found this information useful and that you know just a bit more about credit scores now. Thank you and see you next time.